Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Since the announcement of PyScript, not only just people started talking about PyScript, but also they started exploring Pyodide, the engine that powers PyScript, to understand what else we can do. Can we include Streamlit inside Pyodide, which means you don't need a server to host Streamlit, rather it could be a web, uh, a client-based application. So Streamlit ideally needs server, but you know, can you deploy Streamlit just like you deploy an HTML page? This is like a lot of people started exploring things like this thanks to the amazing team at Pyodide. But very recently, I think somebody has made a huge, huge progress in this. And that is exactly what we're going to discuss in this video. We're going to talk about a new uh, project from uh, Shushia. Um, I hope I pronounced the name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. So Witfix is one of the prolific Streamlit component creator and also Streamlit content creator. So the project that we are currently seeing is called ST Lite. So what ST Lite is doing is ST Lite has got it's a port of Streamlit to Wasp WebAssembly powered by Pyodide. And the beauty here is that you can just host a simple HTML file and that HTML file is going to run your Streamlit application. And you know, the moment I was, I, I, I saw this, I was, I was literally mind blown to see that it's in a short span, like a single person could do this. Imagine like a community gets together and the potential is really amazing. And that is exactly why I wanted to make this video, even though this is in a very early stage, it's, it's a very, um, you know, uh, you could, you could see like, uh, the, the commits have been like a couple of, a uh, couple of days ago, but even though it is in quite early stage, I am really, really excited about it. And I want to share this with all of you. And that is exactly what we're going to do in this video. You're going to learn how to develop your stream application which could be simply deployed on the client side you don't need a server it could be rendered as an html file but still you could get a basic functionality of streamlit at this point whatever we have and the quick demo that i wanted to show you is you have got a web application and you can see my url so it says stlight.html because this is simply an html file rendered by my browser no no server is running okay i can go here and then type something like i can type something like one little coder and then you would see hello one little coder I can say sun, you would see sun. I can say Java, you would see Java, mm, you know, Python, Py Pyodide, whatever you want. Hello Python. So this is a very simple Streamlit application. And now we are going to learn how to do the Streamlit application on the web, like uh, like, like literally um, without any server, just um, using Pyodide, uh, the web assembly world. So I'm going to open my VS code. As you can see, my VS code currently has got barebone code. This code is something that I took from the documentation um, of a ST Lite project. So you can see that we have a very basic HTML open, HTML closed and head and inside head at this point, what you see is you've got a, you know, very basic meta information and then you have got the title of the application. So this is what you have got in your head. Now, if you want to use ST Lite, ST Lite um, is very big because it's in the web, it's a JavaScript component. So if you want to use ST Lite in your project, then you have to include this line where you're going to source this ST Lite.js from this location into your application. You can download ST Lite, you know, keep it locally. I don't know how efficiently that will work, but uh, for now you can just refer ST Lite. You can source ST Lite from here. So this is your dependency. This is almost equivalent of doing your um, import streamlet as ST, something like that. So this is almost equivalent of that for your web application. The next thing is now you need to show the streamlit code. You need to make sure that you can run the streamlit code. So now you're going to enclose that inside a script and you're going to put it in using stlight.mount. So stlight.mount is going to take this data. So it's, it's, it's very much like, um, you can see, you know, there is a, there is a, there is a title, uh, like, um, the, the key, uh, if you see this is like a key value pair. So you have got the key, which is main script data. Just make sure that you have the same case M in small case S in uppercase and D in uppercase. And then you are going to say, this is your content. This is a Python code that you are actually writing, which is going to get executed in that uh, streamlit application. Uh, so, I mean, it's a streamlit application. So ST light dot mount and then remaining. And that is, that's all you have to do. Once you do this, once you save it and run, you're going to get the streamlit application. So I'm going to just quickly test one thing. I'm going to say ST dot uh, title. And uh, I'm going to say, this is a web assembly demo of streamlit. Okay. And ST light. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go back to my browser. 
you can see it is it says please wait because we just um, we just saved it back and it's going to do the entire thing it's as you know this is a client side like browser based rendering so it's going to take some time at the start because you don't have a server now and uh, you can see this is a web assembly demo of streamlit st light and then you have got this so now you want to you want to add let's say something else i i don't know what are all features are currently available okay so let's say i want to add um, add like a dropbox maybe steroid dot select i think select is what is select box maybe i forgot let's let's try select box um, because i'm spending a lot of time with PyScript these days um, i'm kind of confused so let me open the documentation streamlit select box um okay it's, it's select box my memory is not that bad we have a streamlit select box and i can um, i can get this as an example i can come back and paste it here how would you like to be contacted email home mobile phone and then you have got the name and it says st right so let's save it go back to our application and then see if it is going to work so we are trying to use a drop down where we will select an option and that option gets printed so that's 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 exactly what we are trying at this point it's loading so the more number of components that you add i i guess the more time it will take okay this is amazing so how would you like to be contacted email home phone mobile phone um i can say my home phone it says home phone and i can say one little coder one little coder and you can see so basically um the basic functionality so far what we have tested it works flawlessly but i uh, like like the developer has called out very rightly here this project is still in the very early stage beginning of its development so the apis are going to change drastically so i don't think anybody is going to use it um, in production at this point but this is like literally so cool that you can you can simply use it and what i'm going to show you next is typically if you have to deploy a streamlit application a classical streamlit application you need a server to host you would go to streamlit sharing you would go to uh, i mean it's called streamlit cloud or a uh, hugging face spaces on cloud aws microsoft azure some place where you know you can run python that's where you would typically host streamlit very similar like what you do with uh, java uh, sorry what you do with flask and django but the beauty of this like i said the beauty of this is that you do not need a server so what are we going to do i'm going to just copy this code okay i'm going to go back to my browser and i'm going to go click a new repo so another call out if you have not started this repo please please start the repo uh it should it should it should mean a lot to the developer given that uh, you know this, this is an open source project like uh, it's not a company that's charging you millions of dollars so show your love to the developer so i'm going to go open a new repository right and i'm going to say st light st light demo and i'm going to say streamlit was demo okay I'm going to add it with the readme so i'm actually trying to show you mighty license i'm actually trying to show you that you don't need a server for this um, i'm you, you would have seen it on my local machine but still to make sure that um um it's it's more believable i'm going to call it index.html let's see commit it and i'm going to go to my settings at this point my html file is there but i have to enable the pages so main branch and then root and then save it so once we do this thing ideally there should be the the link is available here copy the link so that you don't miss it go back to your main repo edit the settings add the website save changes and now go to github actions and see if the actions is kicked off so the actions have started so you can see that the pages and build have started so if you want to go inside and you can see so what is currently happening is you can imagine like the browser is trying to render so that's that's exactly what is happening the html page is being built and um and 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 if you want you can deploy it on netlify any place where you can hold a static static website so but at this point you can see this um, yellow, yellow color running once it finishes running so you would ideally see green color if it is successful you would see a red color if it is not successful and uh, it's 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 successful so which means it's it's green color and it is successful click the actions you would see okay it's it's still happening let's wait okay report build status is successful and now it's deploying it to the github pages until this is green the page is not going to work so after this we are going to check so we're going to okay it's successful so uh, it's deployed successfully go back to your repo click the link then wait for it so it's going to take a little bit of time if it, if it loads without any error um kudos to the developer this is really really amazing kudos to wit fix um it fix i think i i pronounced it correctly so yushiro um 
थैंक यू सो मच यूशरो प्लीज गिव अ शॉर्ट टू यूशरो ऑन सोशल मीडिया यूशरो एंड अमेजिंग इट्स इट्स लोडिंग सो आई कैन गो टाइप माय नेम आई मीन माय चैनल्स नेम यू नो एस ए यूट्यूबर आई हैव टू ऑलवेज एडवर्टाइज माय चैनल सो दैट यू सब्सक्राइब बट दिस इज अमेजिंग लाइक आई कैन सेलेक्ट एंड इट्स इज मोबाइल फोन एंड आई थिंक दिस इज रियली ऑफसम गिवन दैट दिस इज ऑल क्लाइंट साइड एंड यू डोंट नीड अ सर्वर टू डिप्लॉय I I don't know what kind of impact this is going to have uh, in the long term, but Pyodet is really really an exciting project. Kudos to developers who are putting valuable Python components to Pyodet uh, like PyScript. Now we have got Streamlit, and I would be really excited to see if we can combine Streamlit and uh, PyScript somehow. And um, you know the future is really exciting. So thank you so much for the creator of uh, ST Light, uh, Yushiro, and also if you have any comments. please let me know in the comment section otherwise all the required links will be in the youtube description and i am excited to know what you feel about st light the new iodide kid in the block and that is really amazing see you in the next video happy coding peace